Good morning all. Well, we're driving to the start today. Uh, I say we, uh, the driver's coming with me. I'm not going to show you the driver because I'm not allowed to show you because she's driving with her glasses on, you know, vanity and all that. The ride today, we're going to the Benelli Viaduct again. And the reason we're going again is because we went a couple of weeks back and wasn't at all happy with the footage. It was an odd day, it was bright, then it was dark and the footage wasn't right and I'd set the camera up manually and it didn't really, it didn't really work very well. So we're doing it again. Now luckily the drone footage wasn't affected so that's going to be from a couple of weeks ago which is just as well because it's really quite windy today so the drone wouldn't be a good idea. So we'll talk to you shortly and uh, you'll join us on the ride. I can show you my driver now. <laughs> it's of course Wendy. So we've parked up now at Cockgrave Country Park and our route's going to take us over to Home Pier Point and then through the city of Nottingham uh, using their cycleways and then out to the Benelli Viaduct. So we'll do some filming on the way and have a little chat. So see you soon. It's on this route that I had real problems with my Garmin 820. It really couldn't cope with all the waypoints. And as is the case with the Garmin, if you go wrong, it just tells you to make a U-turn. doesn't tell you any more information than that. And we actually at one point got totally confused. Didn't know where to go. Uh, so, we had to resort to an old-fashioned map. Well, I'm really happy with the Wahoo's performance so far. It's been excellent. And we purposely went off route to that coffee stop. And of course the route turned blue to say we were off route, but it took us back very quickly. Uh, also with the Varia radar connected, it really is much better than the Garmin for warning me. A, I can hear the tone, it's much louder, but also the LEDs across the top light up as well. So I'm well impressed. On the kitchen sink handlebars, you can see I've got my drinks holder out the front. I'm gonna move that because it, it rattles about a bit. It's not ideal. I'll probably put it on the side here. Uh, still be away from my hands, but hopefully it'll be a little less shaky so far the handlebars are really really comfortable and it means I can just have my hands flat on here I can put my fingers on here because we've got this large top grip area
Now with these kitchen sink bars, I've actually gone a lot wider than I would have been comfortable with. Now my bars originally were 42 inches and did find I was scrunching my shoulders up a bit. My shoulder width is the 42, so it should have been right, but I did seem scrunched up a bit. Eric at Redshift suggested I probably go for 47, somewhere in between. But I did watch a video of someone saying they'd gone for the 47, I think it was, but wished they'd have gone wider. So I've gone for 50, and I have to say, so far, I'm happy. It's certainly more comfortable on the shoulders, and it feels quite a natural position. We also have these bottom bar grips, which are quite a strange shape. But when we were into that headwind back there, I dropped into the bottom grips and really, really found it comfortable. And in fact, I think I'll be riding in those drops more often. It does feel a really comfortable position. I've got the grip set at 45 degrees inwards as recommended, and it does really make for a comfortable position. Thank God I didn't bring the electric. <laughs> is all I can say. Train. <laughs> oh, there's a train coming as well, look at that. Oh, and the sheep, it's so much fun. Into Nottingham. Very pretty, this part. It is. So can I have a little rant? What dog understands, get out the way? <laughs> I mean... Perhaps he was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it really annoys me. You know, out the way. Wow. They're four babies to be proud of, aren't they? Why are the three adults? This is the Erewash Canal. It's uh, totally navigable, this part. It's beautiful, beautiful stretch. Great towpath. Very pretty. We're going up there. Whoa, make it look. They've lost the boat. I'm sure you should have a boat. Hi. Hello. Always wanted to do switchbacks. Like taking bread to the top of the world. <laughs> Is that your Welsh accent? <laughs> Woo! Do, 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 do. impression of the valley but they're not the views aren't spectacular if you know what I mean. No they're not. Although you can see a long way. It's an impressive structure. It's beautiful.
That is fun, isn't it? This is a little less used uh, up this end. It certainly doesn't look very nav navigable. Actually, it probably is navigable. It's just that part. Wonder why that was so overgrown. <laughs> Need the Grantham Canal boys and girls up here. we've done now is we turn right off of the Erewash Canal towpath and we're now going back along the other side which is the Erewash Valley Trail. So Wendy are you pleased with your gravel bike? Very much so I'm getting really used to it now I yeah. think it's going to be my winter bike my summer bike my everything bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's great for the type of paths we do isn't it's it? It's perfect yeah it really opens up much more flexible. I mean, I'm soon going to be starting to ride my triban again, which I love. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's got mud guards on for the winter, but I have to say, I really don't want to stop riding this. No. I've been making life quite difficult for this Wahoo. I've purposely gone off course a few times to look at things and it just gives me a blue line telling me that it's detouring me back to the original route. Now the Garmin would have just said, U-turn.
Little pedestrian bridges are good. Look at this place. It's like sitting, sitting on a stalk. Wow. This stretch of canal is the Nottingham to Beeston Canal. Another nice navigable waterway. West Bridgeford. Ah. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Graffiti in action, it's very rare you see graffiti being produced. They look like they're doing a proper job as well. When we came along here a couple of weeks back, this was just being started. Yeah, it's really good. It's Goodness nice. Me, they've done that quick. Nice to see some sensible graffiti. Whoa, it's beautiful. Stunning art. Hello. Hello. Isn't that good? There are a lot of people about, aren't there? There are. But you build Great. it and they'll come. Well, yes, that's <laughs> it. Got me lock. Canals, gravel roads. Right here. A bit of everything. It's been really good. What we didn't show you on the video is that we stopped at a place called Strelly Hall for our break. We had some very nice, what was it? Um, sweet potato and lentil, lentil, sweet lentil potato soup. And lentil so we were quite soup. healthy. And Strelly Hall had quite a history. We'll go back there one day because it had um, it said it was 12th century, uh, but we couldn't really see the 12th century part, so we didn't bother telling you. So we didn't bother showing you that. We'll have a look another day. Behind you! <laughs> it's like the pantomime. <laughs> I've never done this bit before. No. Have you? No. Nope. <laughs> We're coming to the end of today's ride now, and I think we have to say that the verdict on the Wahoo element Rome <laughs> is 100% thumbs up. Yeah, really, really impressed. Yeah. I mean, that took us around some fairly intricate routes today. Yeah. And uh, we've done very well. It's not let us down once. No, there's... Whereas with the other one, you're always never quite sure. No. I was a bit concerned that it didn't have that many colours, but in fact that's a benefit because the route's really clear. Yeah. Whereas with the Garmin, out. the route could be easily cluttered up with other colours. Yeah. So this is this has been really good. And uh, it's been a great route today, hasn't it? It's Lots been of fantastic. canals. And off-road, we've hardly been on main roads at all. Yeah, we've been, we, what have we had? The Nottingham Canal, the Erewash Canal, the Beeston Canal, and now we're on the Grantham Canal, yeah. which is uh, literally runs through to Grantham. We could ride this pretty much all the way to Grantham if we wanted to, <laughs> but we're only going to Cotgrave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
I went a little bit wrong there, but it was nothing to do with the wahoo. It was to do with me. I didn't take notice of the wahoo. I was too busy looking at the scenery and merrily went on my way. And we came to a part of the canal where, as Wendy said, somebody quite short-sighted many years ago decided that the A52 was much more important and ploughed through it uh, with no way through. So it'll be interesting to see what the Canal Society do with that when it's time to open up the canal into Nottingham, which they're proposing to do. Well, we're coming to the end of today's ride. I hope you enjoyed it joining us. Uh, we've done about 45 miles, I think, by the time we finish. And much of that was off road. I think, what did we do on road, Wendy, mm, would you probably say? Probably about two miles. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Really lovely, all the canal paths and everything. Brilliant. So we didn't do too much talking on this ride, but uh, I'm sure you won't mind that. I hope you'll join us again in the future for some more rides that we've got coming up. So until then, I'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>